Hi there, I'm Representative Lori Jenkins and you're joining me here today in my office in Olympia. You know, sometimes those of us here in Washington State can only do so much about things that are happening in the other Washington. But sometimes things that happen there are so egregious and harmful to the people in our communities that we have to find ways to act. President Trump's executive order that he issued regarding immigrants and uh, people traveling from Muslim countries last week is one of those examples. I was very pleased to see that the courts issued a temporary restraining order saying that that executive order has to stop now. And I was so proud of the state of Washington for being the first state in the nation to sue over this unconstitutional executive order. But we can't stop there. The state legislature does have some power to do things, and I want to talk to you today about what it is we're going to be doing. This is important because since 1975, over 130,000 refugees have entered the state of Washington as contributing citizens to our community. In fact, Tacoma Community House in our own city has been in existence for over 100 years. They've helped every immigrant and refugee community that has come to our city integrate and be successful contributing neighbors, family members, friends, and co-workers. While we all share the desire to make sure that we're protected from those who might pose a threat, people who come to our country from war-torn places and who have been well vetted do not pose a threat and should be welcomed here. That's why I signed a letter, along with many other members of the House Democratic Caucus, to the President asking him to comply with court orders relating to his executive order. But that's not all. We're actually pursuing legislation that will make sure that there is not going to be any collection of a registry of people who practice one faith or another. I'm also going to be signing on to and supporting a bill called the Family Unity Act, which will make sure that immigrant and refugee families are not torn apart. We'll also be looking at uh, trying to give the Human Rights Commission the authority to start a 1-800 number to gather information if someone feels like they are being targeted and to make sure that our anti-discrimination laws actually protect immigrants and refugees. This isn't the first time Washington has taken this kind of action. We did it when we passed marriage equality. We did it when we said that transgender people in our state will not be discriminated against. We did it when we passed the DREAM Act, making sure that young people, all young people who lived here in this state, had the right to get a college education. And we did it when we protected a woman's right to choose how she would get her health care. We in Washington are not going to go backward and we're not going to allow discrimination. We are not going to allow our communities to be targeted and torn apart by false solutions that prey on innocent people. So you'll see my contact number and uh, information going across the bottom of the screen right now. I surely do invite you to call me or email me if you have questions or suggestions about other things the Washington State Legislature should be doing right now. Thank you for tuning in.